Alos Parakletos. It's Greek, which means another helper of the same kind, one who stands beside you. This is how Jesus referred to the Holy Spirit. John 14, 16. I will ask the Father, and he will send you another helper. Alos Parakletos. Comforter, advocate, intercessor, strengthener, stand by. The year was 2011. I had just completed my law degree from the University of Ibadan. And the next step was to proceed to the Nigerian Law School. My mom, who was my sponsor at the time, said she had done her best to bring me this far and she could go no further. She advised that I defer my admission, get a job, and go for my youth service, and come back to law school after a few years. I refused. I told her that I would go to law school with my set, and she wouldn't need to pay a dime. She said, my son, do you have another helper? Alos Parakletos. I was raised with a Bible. And I've read stories of people who trusted God for the ridiculous and they experienced the miraculous. Where life had put a full stop, God turned it to a semicolon. He gave them a result that took away every insult. If God could make the sun stand still, what is school fees before him? I had no idea where the funds were going to come from, but I have a loose paracletos. I prayed. But God was silent. I fasted, but God was silent. I reminded him of his promises and entreated his mercies, but he was silent. A month to the payment deadline, I started reaching out to family and friends and relatives for support. People had issues of their own. The kind ones gave me 5K, 10K. I needed about 250,000 naira. And so as I got those monies, sometimes I saw it back as a seed to God and said, this is not what I want. Some other times I gave it to my mom to cook meals for my siblings and I because we were struggling to feed at the time. A week to the payment deadline I had not gotten the funds. My classmate had resumed school. God was silent. I had begun to lose hope. So I decided to pack a few things and travel to law school Abuja just to see my friends, see what law school looks like, say hi to them, stay for a few days and come back home in shame to get a job. On the day of the payment deadline, my friend walked into my room and gave me a slip. I saw my name, King Ojikemba, 250,000 naira paid. It was a law school receipt. And then he said to me, King, you're starting classes with us on Monday. You're not going home. We have paid your fees. I, I was like, who, who is we? I had no idea that all the while, while I was praying and fasting, waiting and trusting, giving and sowing, God was stirring the heart of my friends, my classmates and lecturer. They had opened an account and they were contributing towards my fees. I mean, people I barely talked to in class were saying this guy has to be in law school with us. He can't stay behind. I, I, wanted to, I wanted to cry, laugh, jump, scream, shout, all at the same time. On that day, I understood the meaning of El Roy. God sees me. I understood the meaning of the word Alos Parakletos. On that day, I learned that sometimes when it seems like things are falling apart, they are actually falling in place. That sometimes God uses strangers to perform strange miracles. That when God cooks, you don't see smoke. You will not see wind or rain, but the clouds will be full of water. That even when you don't see it, He's working. Even when you don't feel it, He's working. Even when you're giving all hope, He's working. In the words of Godman Akinlabi, show me a man who said there is no God, and I will show you a man who lacks encounters. Now this is where I close. Perhaps you came to this conference expectant 
for a testimony, a miracle, a breakthrough. You have prayed, but God is silent. You have fasted, but God is silent. You have engaged his promises and entreated his mercies, but God is silent. You have walked, crawled, run, gotten to the edge of the cliff of your faith. It is time to take a leap because you know that one of two things will happen. There will either be something soft for you to land on or you defy gravity. November 20, 2012, I was called to the Nigerian bar as a barrister and solicitor of the Supreme Court of Nigeria 11 years ago. When I look at this week, it reminds me that God sees me. When I look at this wig, it reminds me that I defied gravity. When I look at this wing, it reminds me that I have another helper. Alos Paracletos. Thank you. I tell you, I appreciate them a little better than that.